Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Phil Customs. Today we're going to do an experiment. Now, I have the Prototype Z uh, Ryu kit. Uh, now, I have actually a few kits, so I'm going to experiment with two ways of cleaning the kit. Now, in my Sagat video, I showed that you can use soap and water, scrub it with a toothbrush or sandpaper. Um, that takes a while. I mean, because these are very oily with all the mold release, and you really got to get all that all mold release off, because if you don't, and you go to prime it and paint it, at the end it won't stick to the resin. So you really want to get it off. Now, if you go to your Home Depot or stores, you could buy a steel wool. It comes in very different grades here. Very fine to uh, four zeros or a little bit coarse up to three. So I have a four zeros and a double zero. Now, you can use this with soap and water on kits. You can use this on primer. You, use a lot, you know, you can do a lot of stuff. But just don't use these if you have a magnet already in your statue because this stuff kind of comes off. And it will stick to your magnet. So you always want to use this before any magnets are onto your statues. But I also have a super clean degreaser. Now, uh, I know a lot of people in the past have said that when they go to strip their statues, they don't use acetone. They use this. And what they do is they put it into a plastic bag. They ziplock it. And they let it sit. And the fumes and everything takes off the paint. Now, I've tried that on a statue a little while ago. Maybe about two or three weeks ago. And... I let it sit for like two or three hours and it didn't take any of the paint off. Now I guess maybe you have to let it sit overnight, I don't know. Um, I'd rather just use acetone where I could just dip something in two minutes, it's out, it's completely bare. Now what we're going to experiment is we're going to take this one kit and we're going to use the degreaser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray degreaser into the bags and let it sit for like an hour or two or whatever. And then uh, we'll see uh, how that works out at the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other kit and we're going to do a fast wash acetone bath. Now, basically, uh, I'll explain the acetone when I get to it. I'm not saying you, you dip it in there and you leave it for like in a couple hours. Uh, this is different because this stuff won't like kill your resin. This actually will clean it very well from what I understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this into the Ziploc bags and we're going to let it sit for a while. We'll see what happens. And then what I think I'm going to do is after I let it sit for a while, spray it in there. Then I might take them over to a sink and do my Dawn washing and wash it all off and see how that works at the end. And then uh, we'll, next the uh, next part of the video, we'll go to the acetone, we'll put the kit in there real quick, and then we'll do that. But the only thing is, you got to remember, is acetone will not work on clear resin. So don't put that, we'll explain that when we get to that. But from what I understand, this won't harm this. At least it should. So I'm going to spray it in. We're gonna let it sit for a while, let the fumes go. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll move the bag around a little bit just to get some liquid around in all the pieces. Just be careful you don't break anything, and we'll see what happens. Uh, the base is very dry. I'm not seeing a lot of mold release on here, so the base I pretty much I think I could just throw into the uh, Dawn, uh, you know, with a toothbrush and get it off because it's really not that oily. So that's pretty cool. But the rest of the pieces are. So we'll stop the video and then we'll do a little fast one of me spraying it in and we'll go from there and see what happens. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's the best result. My results might be bad. Uh, somebody else might have better results uh, with doing other stuff. So we're just going to experiment. Alright guys, here is my experiment. Uh, don't do what I do. Uh, if you're going to try this, do it at your own risk. I'm doing this at my own risk because I just like to experiment. So uh, you got to be very careful and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. So in this container here, as you see I got my latex gloves on already. Uh, this container is going to be filled with acetone. That container is filled with some Dawn and water. So basically what I do is I'm going to dip it in there and I'm going to throw it in there and let it sit and soak up. Now I have my safety glasses. I have a mask that takes care of fumes. I got my toothbrush, an old one, and some of the uh, steel wool. Now uh, the Ryu kit basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this all in real time. I'm going to take it. I'm going to dip it into the acetone, brush it with the toothbrush. If I feel I need to go a little bit more, I'll use the steel wool. If not, if I think it's going well, I'll use a toothbrush and then throw it into the water. Now, the clear resin is a little bit different. This stuff might actually melt or cloud up in acetone. And then afterwards, it's uh, 
it, you can't really use the clear resin. Now I'm gonna actually throw this in there to show you guys the end result of what happens because this is gonna be uh, chromed anyway, so I don't mind if it clouds. That hasn't, you know, that doesn't bother me at all. But if anything, you probably want to use the degreaser or Dawn's to really clean this up, buff it up, and do what you want. But like I said, I like to experiment, and I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Now, softer resins will actually just completely melt in acetone but this is really good resin it's not like the uh, poly stones you get from pre-paint statues where it's got like a stone mix into it this stuff is just pure resin but if you move fast enough I've done it in the past you can pretty much clean off all the uh, mold residue in like 30 seconds throw it in the water and you're good to go so let me get set up and we'll do this in real time but like I said you do this at your own risk if you never really work with acetone a lot you don't know results and what happens, I suggest you use the deep research safer. But this is just me, it's my experiment, and for me, if I'm going to be doing a lot of kits, maybe I could just take them all, do them in the acetone bath, get them done, boom, I'm done, and then I just go from there. But after this, you have to let it dry though, because I'm going to probably run it through some water afterwards to let it soak, and you really want it to dry up, so you'll probably let it sit for a day or two, and then prime it up and go from there. So, let me get set up, and then we'll do it real time. Alright, these have been sitting in the bags for about, I'd say about 40 minutes or so, um, I give or take, something like that. So basically what I'm going to do now is just uh, open them up. You might want to do this stuff outside because I guess this stuff can get a little fumey. And it just smells like cleaner. So I'll just pretty much uh, brush it off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse these out in the sink, let these dry, and the acetone ones dry. And then we can, uh, you know, look at them uh, side by side, see how they feel, uh, you know, which better, which not. And I guess at the last uh, thing, I'll let these dry for a day or so, and then we'll prime them, and we'll see what the difference is, see if primer's sticking to them or whatnot. So I'll keep brushing them a little bit. I'll rinse them out. We'll let them dry, and then we'll come back. Um, you know, as they're a little bit damp still, we'll see what's what, how they feel, if it's still slimy, if it's dry, which one's which. And then uh, I'll let these uh, sit overnight. And I guess tomorrow we'll see what happens uh, when I prime up a couple pieces, see uh, how well uh, each one works. Okay, guys, so here is the acetone, and here is the degreaser. Now, it's still a little wet because it's got some water on there, but uh, running my fingers through the acetone uh, wash feels, uh, feels like the finger's grabbing on it. It's not smooth. It's not, like, oily and greasy, like... You know, so it feels like 
once the water is completely dried, that primer is definitely going to stick to the kit. Now, as far as the degreaser, same thing. Um, not slimy. Uh, still smooth, but that's because the casting is very smooth. But it feels like it's going to grab, it's going to work, and not oily. So definitely it looks like either way really took off all the mold release. Um, now, I thought the acetone was really going to... Uh, messed this up, this clear resin, and as you saw, I put it in, washed it, got it, dipped it, and done. So I'm actually, I'm actually surprised this resin is really good. I mean, this is some really good resin. It didn't cloud up, and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So basically, that worked out. I'm surprised. But this one, for leaving it in as long as they did, the thinner area is a little tacky. So I think the degreaser might have more of a reaction with the clear resin than the actual acetone working really fast so it's not that this is ruined it just needs to dry up a little bit and then uh, once I prime it up and chrome it it should be fine so that's the experiment so far gonna let these dry up really good so either tomorrow I'll try and prime or another day just uh, whenever I get back to them because I really want all this water and any residue to really set dry and uh, cure basically um, you know basically acetone might have soaked into the resin a little bit so you want to give it some time to just you know cure up and dry same thing with the degreaser degreaser could have soaked into the resin a little bit so we're gonna let them dry and we'll be back when I'm ready to prime them because we'll just take the primer we'll hit the primer on them and see if it sticks or if there's any kind of bleeding or any problems then we know that we didn't really get it off and that there's really a lot of uh, mold release but just feeling it from it now and just moving my fingers it's I could tell that there's no uh, residue on there because when you pull these out of the box and you do touch them and you do your finger it's like very oily so we will be back uh, tomorrow or the next day ready to prime up a couple pieces and see what happens So we're just going to do a test now. Uh, this right here is the acetone bath uh, leg and this one is the degreaser. Now usually I sand these down and I patch them up and I prime them while I'm doing it. But right now we're just going to do the experiment to see how this stuff works. So basically I have my Duplicolor filler primer and I'm just going to spray a little bit on each leg just to see how well it works. So this one is the acetone so we'll just So looking at it, looking like it's going on pretty good. Uh, don't see any kind of bleeding or bubbling. And we'll do the uh, degreaser. So degreaser is looking pretty good. So not bad. All right. So what we're gonna do is we'll come back. We'll let this dry for about I don't know, maybe like an hour or so. And we'll do some scraping tests and see what happens. Alright guys, so here is the leg primed. Just a little bit over here, just with primer. Uh, degreaser, and this is the leg with the acetone. Now, the uh, primer stuck to it very well. There's no bleeding, no issues. So, basically, um, my experiments were either or works. It really gets off the mold release and everything stuck well. Now, that being said... I still use uh, 3M sandpaper to sand all my statues and stuff because this is very smooth. They did such a great job with casting and uh, sculpting that it's very, very smooth. And out of all the kits I've really ever worked with, these are probably one of the smoothest kits I've ever seen. So hats off to Prototype Z for being able to get these uh, really nice and smooth and good castings. But you still want primer to stick to them as much as possible. So I like to sand all my stuff down with 3M uh, sandpaper. It's this foam stuff. Very thin, great stuff. Uh, you can find this at like, you know, Home Depots and everything. So basically, after you clean off your kits, basically I, what I would do is I'll just, you know, sand them all down, rough them up a bit, uh, get some grooves and just, you know, fix any errors that I see underneath and everything. And then prime them all up, start gluing together and then prime them again because I just like to make sure everything sticks and there's no issues at the end. But hopefully you guys liked the video. It's kind of a fun experiment just to see what happens when doing stuff. Um, I suggest, you know, people don't do exactly what I do because if you do some stuff in acetone with different types of resins, when you go to pull them out, you might not have a piece anymore. It might melt. Uh, you can't throw plastics in either or stuff like that. But 
it was fun. Uh, hopefully gives you guys some ideas on how to clean up your statues and do some different things with like degreaser and everything. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.